Jeez. All righty. Well, we're going to turn now to our tech corner. This is a good one that Dirk uh, set up for us here. Uh, Voodoo Robotics. Voodoo Robotics as a, uh, a new uh, next generation pick to light system. If you don't know uh, exactly what a, a pick to light system uh, means and is all about, Dirk is going to help kind of walk us through it. Uh, so, uh, Dirk, if you're ready, sure. I'm just logging Dirk into is my logging into logging to my the demo system. here. Okay, right. so uh, yeah, we're, like Mike said, we're going to talk about pick to light. Now, if you aren't familiar with pick to light, let me step back in history quite a ways. So, if you've worked in manufacturing, you probably at some point started off in the stock room pulling parts, picking parts. And the way that used to work, uh, I know it did for me, I'd get this, this printout, this computer printout, and have you know the kind of the green and, and white alternating lines with the holes down the side, you know what I'm talking about. You'd get your pick list, you'd have your little cart, and you'd start walking down the aisles of your warehouse, you'd get to the, the, the first part number on your pick list, and you'd go to the bin, you'd pull the parts out of the bin, you'd put it in your little baggie in your cart, and then you'd take your cart down to the next bin, and so on and so forth, until you picked all the parts for that kit. Now you've kitted that particular kit. Your pick list is done. The problem with this is that when you're reading from a printout or any kind of printed material, it's possible to skip a line, right? So you get to the end of your kit, your pick list, you've missed a line, your kit is short one part simply because you skipped a line. Or a little eye-hand coordination problem, particularly if you worked in electronics like I did, a lot of the bins for parts are small bins. So you're supposed to be reaching for this bin but you reach for this bin, you pull the wrong part out. Or you simply read the part number wrong. You're supposed to be pulling 1670-1 and you pull 1670-10, right? So all of these led to a certain type of error and quite a few errors in manual pick processes. So eventually this was done away with uh, in a lot of companies by something called pick to light. It's exactly what it sounds like. There is a light or a display underneath every bin or high value bins. And here the picker would go to a computer, they would enter in their name, uh, they would enter in their, their pick list number, and it, let's say there's 10 parts in that pick list. 10 lights would come on underneath 10 different bins in the stock room corresponding to the 10 parts on that pick list. You can imagine how much easier this is now. You're rolling your cart down the aisle, there's a display that's lit up, it's right underneath the bin, it's various, very obvious that bin belongs to that light, it has maybe the number of parts you're supposed to pull. So it greatly reduced the number of pick errors and it also made picking faster. Pick to light, awesome, been around for a while, fantastic system but it does suffer from one little problem. The capital expense up front for a pick to light system can be pretty high. Also the infrastructure cost. These typically are hardwired systems. So you have all your, your racks of shelves where all your parts are. Each of those bins and the lights in those bins has got to be wired with a light. Um, uh, the display has a wire that runs from it back to some sort of display uh, controller, some sort of hub, right? So a lot of infrastructure costs. Also, because of both of those things, it's both a little bit expensive and a little bit time consuming to do a change of scale, whether you want to scale up, typically, or scale back. Um, these are difficult things to do. So what we're going to look at today is a product from Voodoo Robotics. It's another pick to light system, works basically the same way, except it is wireless. I got one of them in my hand right here. Um, that is the device. That is your display. Notice there's no wires on it at all. No, uh, two AA batteries go inside. The battery lasts a year, year and a half. And it's got a multi-line uh, display. Matter of fact, if we switch to the slide on the screen here, I'll just show you real, real quick what this looks like close up. So you can see it there. That's the device I was holding in my hands. You can see it. It's multiple screens, two lines per screen. So there's a lot of information that can show up on here. Okay. So what you do with this, you put double sticky tape on this, or tie wraps or whatever, and you go along and you put this on all the bins. Very fast, there's no wiring, so your infrastructure cost really goes down because it's, it's hardly anything to install these. Number two, these are leased systems. You pay a certain amount per month for each device that you lease. You want to scale up, you add more devices, you just order more from Voodoo Robotics, they add that to your lease your lease cost goes up. You get rid of part numbers, maybe you uh, take down a line, you don't need as many SKUs, as many part numbers. You end the lease on however many devices you want and your lease cost goes down. So you're always able to scale the cost of your pick the light system to what you need simply by how many devices you choose to have at any one particular point in time. 
The other thing about these that's really cool, they're IoT devices, Internet of Things devices. They connect through your network to a Voodoo robotic server on the cloud and you, co you communicate with them just a simple URL. That means that you can very easily integrate this system into your existing uh, inventory management system software, or your warehouse management system software, uh, because all it takes is a URL uh, in place of whatever else those would be doing them. In fact, you can actually use a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet or a Google spreadsheet to control these. And in fact, that's what we're gonna do right now. And I'm gonna show you how a simple pick to light system will work with one of these devices. And if we just go to uh, our screenshot right here real quick, um, you can see what I've got here. This is just actually a Google spreadsheet, and I've got a couple different pick lists on it. And we've got a barcode over here that we're going to scan, and that will activate that particular pick list. So if we go ahead and go to our, uh, um, if we go ahead and go to our, whoop, go to our uh, gauge cam here, and I will scan my first barcode. So what's happened now? I've scanned my first barcode. The information to this is being sent to the Voodoo robotic server. It in turn now is sending commands back to my warehouse. And so now you're going to see three of these light up. These are the three parts that were on that pick list. This one tells me I'm supposed to pick three. I'll pick three brown M&Ms here and I'll stick them in my I'll stick them in my cart. There we go and I'll acknowledge that one. I'll just turn off that display. And I'm supposed to pick three green M&Ms. You can never have enough green M&Ms, as, as you all know. And I'll put that one in there. And then I move on to my next card, and I'm only going to get one yellow M&M. That's it. My pick is done very easily moved from one to the next. Now I'm ready for my next pick. I just, again, my barcode scanner. I simply scan my barcode. Again, this information is sent to the server, turns around, sends that information back, and now it's going to light up my next five devices for my next pick. Now remember, this is wireless, um, completely wireless, battery operated. So what happens is the status of these batteries is also sent to the server. So that if your batteries start to get low, you're going to get a uh, uh, you're going to get a, a, a message from the server telling, hey, you need to go out to such and such device to replace the batteries. Keep in mind the batteries last like year, year and a half because these things only come on long enough for the display to show up. Now if we go back to our gauge cam, you can see on this pick list, uh, all five devices light, lit up. So I would simply do the same thing again. I would simply go back, pick my do my pick, acknowledge these, and that's it. Now this was a very simple setup that you saw right here. This was simply sending a command to the server to illuminate the appropriate lights for that particular pick. Um, there's a lot more that you can do with this, uh, and they've got some great uh, they've got some great demos that uh, actually have a lot more interactivity on them that you can do with these devices. So, again, uh, this is the Voodoo Robotics wireless pick to light system. Uh, the benefits are uh, low cost up front uh, because you only lease as many devices as you need. It's wireless so there's no wiring that needs to be done. Uh, matter of fact, the only thing you need to do, there's a little wireless hub that could connect either via Wi-Fi or uh, Ethernet and that is simply these devices connect uh, wirelessly to that hub. That hub is connected e via Wi-Fi or Ethernet to your local area network, and of course, they're out to the cloud. So very compact system, easy to implement. So if you want more information on this, there is a link underneath the player page to Voodoo Robotics Pick to Light. You can go and get more information on it then. And uh, thanks to both Trevor and Aaron at Voodoo Robotics for sending this on to us. And uh, that's it. Mike, back to you.